Hey everyone, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to run an external graphics adapter on a laptop. The components that you will need. You will need this. I have the EXP GDC. Uh, the link is going to be in the description. This comes bundled with um, the power adapter, sorry, the power cable, and this thing, this which will make it happen. I have the M2 NGFF version of this. You may have the PCIe or the Express card. You also need a power supply, a decent one. I have used the Koger STX 350 watts. Check it out. I'll put the link in the description as well. I recommend using a more powerful one. And sure, I don't recommend using a power supply like this. This is just crap. I tried it. It is like for 500 watts. You can see. Don't use it. It just may, may fry your whole PC and the GPU. You'll need a screwdriver as well. I don't have a link for that. You should find it by yourself. Without further ado, let's start. This is the Zotac 1060, GTX 1060 Mini from Nvidia. This can really pack a punch. I will show you some benchmark for it in, in another video. But now we will just learn how to get the parts together and run everything in the best way ever. First, we need to connect the GPU into the EXP beast. Like this, it's actually a PCIe. You can see it works perfectly. With the power supply, we will need three cables. This large one, this will give us power to the beast. We'll connect it to this one, like this. Right. And we will need this CPU cables. We'll need one of them to be connected to the other end. You can see. Right. Now we have the main power source connected. We insert this into the beast. Like this. Some of you may see other tutorials use a six pin from the beast into the GPU. If you have the cable, you can do it. But if you don't, I'll just connect the six pin from the power supply directly to the GPU, like this. Okay. This should do it. All right. Now that we have the power cables connected, it is best, it is best that you organize the cables in the best way. I'll just do that now. A few moments later. What the f One eternity later. So now I have just connected in the best way possible for it. Um, we sure need to connect the power supply to the wall outlet like this. Like this, and I'll just turn it on. You can see nothing happened. That's for sure because uh, it is not connected to a PCIe. This this version of the beast actually work when it is connected to the PC and the PC is giving it enough power. This will make it launch. This this actually conserves power. 
Now, we have the main cable, it's an HDMI on this end, and M2 NGFF on this end. Okay, you can see it. So, we'll connect this to the beast. Now, this is going inside the laptop. Let's see how we can do it. So, right here we have the laptop PC. I have an Acer, as you can see right here. Uh, it has the Intel Core i7 and a GeForce 940. I will just turn it off and start. You should remove all the screws from your PC. I'm not sure, but of course, your PC may be different from mine. So I'm not going to show you how to unscrew this. You should find someone that can help you actually to disassemble your PC to reach the slot of the PCIe or the NGF FM2 which will connect to this one okay just remove it like this so this is it this Beast fits in the place where the Wi-Fi adapter actually work. So this is my Wi-Fi adapter. It's made by Intel. I'll just keep this covered away and I'll get the beast. Alright, this should fit over here. I'll do it. Way. Right. You should use a screw over here, but I'm not going to use one. And you should be careful with the cable, it can be really fragile. I had to fix it all over when when I tried to connect it it actually broke I had to fix it all over so be really careful with it it's really fragile and it it can be really expensive especially the M2 part of it okay I'll connect that here okay I'll close it up now As you can see, the power supply and the graphics adapter are not turned on yet. But when I turn on the PC, everything should work perfectly. See? Now for the fun part. I have the drivers working perfectly now. I will show you how to install the driver record the screen I will record through my camera because we need to restart and restart and restart a bunch of times in order to work it won't be hard just follow my steps and it should be easy as cake so first of all you'll need the display driver and installer I will put the link in the description you can download it from go3d or anywhere else I recommend downloading it from Goro 3D it is the main site of this program this is a really amazing program it actually help you uninstall everything con concerning your driver of course it's just for the display drivers let's 
let's load this. Let's run this. Okay. It will ask you to boot into the safe mode because it's the, the most recommended settings. Okay. I'll choose safe mode and we'll reboot it. Just gonna wait for it. Alright, so now we are in safe mode. The PC is booting. Okay. Let's see. Okay. The display driver and installer just launched by itself. We want to remove everything concerning NVIDIA drivers. Everything. We we'll choose clean and restart. process right here resuming its magic we'll just wait this a couple of minutes so just cleaned everything and restarted my PC all right now that we're in We're back. Yeah, and I forgot to mention that you should go to the device manager in order to disable the internal dedicated graphics card if you have one. Like me, I have the GT940M. I have to disable it from the PCIe. So we'll go to the device manager. In the device manager, we choose system devices. There you will see the PCIe slots like the PCI Express Route port 1, port 6 and port number 5. These three ports, uh, one of them is for the Wi-Fi and another is for the internal dedicated graphics card. I'm not sure what's, what's the third for. So, what we should do here, we try disable each one of them and we see if the GPU the internal GPU has been disabled so I tried the first one the second one the third one and I noticed that the, th the first one is the working one the first one is for my internal GPU so I disabled it and everything is good to go Now that we have installed every driver concerning NVIDIA, we need to install two drivers. This trick actually got discovered by a user. I will mention him in the comments if I find his name. So, the first we will need to install NVIDIA 368.81. By this way, just launch it. Okay. Okay, now it is checking the comp compatibility of the GPU. You gotta make sure that the GPU, the power supply and the beast are actually running in their best ways in order to use the NVIDIA driver to detect the GPU. Okay. Here we will use custom advanced settings. This will help us, this will make the GPU work perfectly. We should remove everything including the GeForce experience will leave that will just leave the physics system software and the graphics driver like this as you can see then make sure you do not take the perform a clean installation and click next this will start with the installation process 
it may take a couple of minutes, it may take uh, like 10 minutes, depending on your hardware, depending on your hard disk and other stuff. We'll just wait for it. Okay, now once it's finished, here comes the trick. Do not restart, do not allow the NVIDIA driver to restart your PC. We'll choose restart later. Now, you gotta be focused with me now. Press Windows R. This will, uh, will give you the run command. Write reg edit, like in registry editor. Let me show you this. This is regedit registry editor. Okay. We'll go to H key local machine software. You will see NVIDIA reboot needed. There it is. You can see the full name. Just right click on that and delete. Right? We have it deleted right here. Now close the registry editor. Now you have to run the latest driver from NVIDIA. I have the 384.76 for understand 64 bit. Now you can install it perfectly. wait for it it's gonna take a couple minutes okay we press agree and continue we do not choose custom we'll go with express settings and go on with the installation make sure you don't have any background applications running because it may stop the process from now that the NVIDIA driver got installed, we should restart our PC. So, there it is. If we enter the NVIDIA control panel, you will see that it actually worked. We have the GeForce GTX and 66 gigabytes with the NVIDIA driver 384.76 and everything is working on my laptop PC on the screen of the laptop PC you didn't need any external monitor or anything like that so here here's the information this is it It has a bandwidth of 192 gigabytes. So stick around for the next video. I will show you some benchmarks about it. Uh, and thank you for watching.